Brian Tripp with Jenny Taft from Fox's crew that's going to be on the call for Thursday's game between Penn State and Purdue. And Jenny, you just had an opportunity to talk to the Penn State coaches. What were your impressions, some takeaways from that? Well, first of all, it's so nice to see you because that means football's back, right? It always feels like August is the longest month as we're waiting for our first game. And there was just a lot of excitement. Um, I love chatting with Coach Franklin always. And he he talked a lot about just how he feels that they've had the depth and they've had some a lot of physicality, like in camp, going in and preparing for this game. And just an excitement because in talking to him about the way the last two seasons have been, I mean, everyone wants to move past that. And this team has so much talent, so much potential, so much depth. He talked a lot about the run game. I think everyone's looking forward to seeing what Singleton does, and we will see him. I mean, that was the, that was the word I got from coach that he'll be involved as a freshman and I think Sean Clifford as well a guy that I t spoke to on Monday he's back I know you guys know him well but six years we all know the guy but it's this confidence and swagger to his play that I'm looking forward to seeing and then just getting to know Manny like what he said just now was really interesting how he said I'm just so happy to be a teacher again because when you go from a head coach and you you know become the defensive coordinator again you're back in that moment and you have those one-on-one -on -one teaching moments and I'm I really liked him so just I just want to be around this team now and can't wait to see what they do Thursday I don't want to steal your thunder for the broadcast but can you give <laughs> us a quick preview of one or two stories that you're looking forward to sharing tomorrow I briefly mentioned Clifford but I love the six-year angle and it's unique because with Purdue Adrian O'Connell is also a six-year guy he just got married a month ago. He, it's actually his birthday tomorrow. So he's turning 24. Sean is already 24. But two six-year quarterbacks that are going out for their last season opener, I mean, that's a pretty storybook story right there that I will get into. And, you know, I just I liked learning from Sean on Monday just how much he's enjoyed the mentoring side of his role as a QB. And the injury last year at Iowa, we were actually at that game, and that was so – devastating for him to get hurt in that one and it was just hard to come back the same way after it so I just want him to have a fresh start and an opportunity to really just embrace and enjoy this last year and that's how I feel about both these QBs. So it sounds like you're excited for this matchup obviously what makes these two teams a great way to start the season on Fox here? I feel like Purdue's a team where they're going to they're gonna get it up in the air. They're going to throw it. And you guys have a really strong secondary. I spoke to Joey Porter Jr. this week and just hearing why he wanted to come back. Felt like he still has a lot to prove. Um, Jair Brown is not only an incredible story, but a great leader that the coaches were really high on. And you guys have a really strong secondary. So I think there's going to be a lot of plays to be made. And just the fact that we're not starting the season with any easy games. I mean, this is a really great matchup and we're just happy that it's on Fox.